So Cody has finally finished his story. And do you know what? I'm gonna say this right now. I think it's worth the wait. And the main event, and I'm only gonna talk about the main event. Uh, oh, was it overbooked? Some people are sad, like, saying, oh, it didn't need all these cameos. It's like, there wasn't really that many cameos. It's just like half the roster that came down. But the, I mean, it, the, the story, the story, like I said, it's, it's finished. But is it? And with the, the whole thing about people, like, there was a lot of complete stories through the night. And I think, but not everyone has a strong story. So... I'm thinking that this story is basically what they're saying, or they're using the code word story for, is Vince McMahon era. You know, new stories, new beginnings, Triple H era. And that's cool. I'm really curious what sort of champion code is going to be. He said that if he wins the belt, which he has done, he's going to be on like both shows, may even turn up on NXT. But can they build him up? to, I don't know, like, because with Roman's reign, Ro with Roman's reign, <laughs> with Roman reigns, is reign, there's such, there was such a big energy to it. And yeah, he may have only defended the belt a couple of times in the past, however long, but I know Cody's going to be fighting champion, but is he going to be treated like, actually something special and this is i think what a lot of people are worried about like is the value of the belt gonna just kind of become like generic again because it's gone through moments where there's had a big moment where someone's won the belt but then the rain has felt a bit a nah, bit kind of flat and to make people believe that code is going to be a strong champion he's gonna have to hold that belt for a long time now, what normally happens with Cody Rhodes is people turn on him. They get bored of him. They're going to boo him. Is this what his championship reign's going to be? We don't know. I really hope not, though. And it was cool seeing Brandy as well in there. I guess making her official on-camera WWE return. And there were a lot of rumours saying that, oh, yeah, Dustin's going to make a cameo and MJF's going to make a cameo. Like, what reality are you living in? I mean... It would be amazing if that actually happened, but it didn't. And why are people angry about that? How would have that possibly happened? Unless Triple H and Tony Khan made a deal. Just everything through that match was... Just build, 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 build. And yeah, I... Like I said, I don't want to go into like the whole, whole event, but just the main event with Cody Rhodes just... That the the biggest question is yeah as as I've said where does he go from here though who is going to be the next challenger Drew's going to have his own thing going on oh that's a whole thing that was so good Damian Priest world champion oh yeah he definitely bided his time but is he going to turn face and like is he going to get kicked out of Judgment Day I don't know. But anyway, I don't want to ramble on for, for ages. What do you think? Did you enjoy WrestleMania Night 2 more than Night 1? I don't see how anyone couldn't have done. If they, if they say, oh no, Night 1 was better, you are a dirty, dirty troll. So anyway, let me know your thoughts on Cody Rhodes and the story being, being finished. You know, Undertaker, Cena, all that craziness. Let me know in the comments. And yeah. See you later, everyone. I'm going to slide to over here. Fall asleep for a bit. Videos. Videos there. Somewhere. But anyway, thanks again for watching. And I will talk at you in the next one. About something or other. Bye for now.